Boycott Mulan is trending. South Koreans are protesting its release. Thai netizens are pushing for the same. And now it's time for the United States to sack the fuck up and do the same. What's up, everybody? I'm Lila Farley, a bilingual comedian and rapper banned in the People's Republic of China. This is an Us and China We Trust, a show where I'm going to be breaking down for you some of the hot issues going on between the U.S. and China. Uh, now, Hong Kong is dead, people. Okay, the former financial capital of East Asia has been slowly dismantled by the Chinese Communist Party, the CCP. For those of you that find the whole thing confusing, I'll give you a quick explain it like I'm five summary. Hong Kong was formerly a British colony handed back to China in 1997 under the pretense that for 50 years, Hong Kong's legal system, one that guarantees freedom of speech, freedom of press, legitimate elections, would stay in place. Okay, that was the agreement. But China's current president for life slash dictator slash Winnie the Pooh lookalike Xi Jinping is a schoolboy bitch that can't stand any criticism, be it domestic or abroad. So his regime tried to sneak a legal loophole into China's or into Hong Kong's law that would allow Hong Kong citizens to be extradited to mainland China and subject to mainland China's legal system, which, how do I say this, is a steaming pile of horse shit. There is no law in mainland China. The law is whatever the party says it is. So, as a financial capital of Asia, having a transparent law system free of loopholes that will send you to places like China is essential for your economy as well as your way of life. So. Hong Kongers took to the streets. They protested for months, showing up in huge numbers. They really showed the free world what protesting is all about. Until, you guessed it, COVID-19. Until the Chinese Communist Party allowed COVID-19 to spread all over the world, severely limiting the ability to protest. During that time, Hong Kong police officers realized the very essence of their city was at stake. They maintained their cool. Some even supported the protest not. They responded with physical violence against peaceful protesters. They recklessly attacked and arrested Hong Kong citizens at will. Some of them even engaged in gang rapes of female protesters. Okay, you heard me right. The Hong Kong police, with support from brainwashed angry brutes recruited from mainland China, beat, raped, and pillaged the city once known as the Pearl of the East. But why were Hong Kongers protesting? Well, Hong Kongers just wanted China to stick to their agreement. The agreement that guaranteed their right to protest, that guaranteed their right to legitimate elections. But you know what? The Chinese government doesn't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck about your rules. They don't give a fuck about your law. All they care about is that you bend over and you take it like a good boy. Okay, and that's why I want to record this video today, because Americans need to realize our fight for justice, for equality and for freedom is not an American fight. Expand your view beyond the borders of America and understand that, yes, the struggle in Hong Kong might feel far away. But in reality, the fight they are fighting is already at all of our doorsteps. If you support more accountability in our justice system, if you're against police officers recklessly and violently oppressing our citizens, then you should support the Hong Kongers and their fight for freedom. If you're against our entertainment industry censoring themselves for a chance to suck on China's sweet, sweet tea, then you should stand with Hong Kong. If you're against the NBA getting on their knees and putting the Chinese government's big old dick in their mouth, then you support the Hong Kong protesters. America's greatest power is in our culture. It's what's known as soft power, the ability to export culture via music, TV, films. It's able to connect with such a large international audience because our culture, our country is incredibly diverse. Okay, that's our greatest strength, people. That is our greatest strength. If you want to make America great, you need to embrace its diversity, its diversity of race, culture, and most importantly, our diversity of thought. Okay, that's what makes our country so attractive. If you have the financial means to do so, African Americans, do yourselves a favor and invest in traveling. You know why? Because you will quickly realize that the entire world, specifically the youth of the entire world, the way that they define cool, roots from African-American culture, specifically saying fuck you to the man 
and fighting back, fighting for justice and fighting for equality. Okay, this is a message that appeals to youth in even the most conservative countries. The American spirit is within that, is within rebellion. And speaking of rebellion, if you made the mistake, like I did, of seeing the recent Star Wars films, you may have enjoyed the addition of a black stormtrooper who goes on to join the rebellion. Wow, Disney, great stuff. So progressive with their views. I mean, they had so many females, so many different minorities in their cast. Disney, just really stepping it up for diversity in America. You know, until their pimp, the Chinese government, has an opinion. Uh, then they get down on their knees, open their mouths wide, and let the Chinese government skull fuck the shit out of them, cutting out homosexual scenes in their films and even retouching their movie posters for the Chinese movie poster for Star Wars. They took John Boyega's character and shrunk him by a lot. They also took the other two minority actors' characters completely out of the poster. Disney gets praised for being progressive, having such a diverse cast, only to adjust that for their Chinese pimp daddies. And that's what we like to call a crock of hypocritical bullshit. But it doesn't matter. People still go, they still pay for tickets, they still fuel Disney and directly support the Communist Party, its suppression of Hong Kong, its genocide of Uyghurs in the Xinjiang region, Muslim region of China, as well as the control of my entertainment and your entertainment. Okay, so what should we do? What do we do? It is time that we make a statement, one that speaks in the only language that Disney seems to understand, money. The new Mulan movie is scheduled for release on August 21st. The star of the film, Liu Yifei, her English name is Crystal. She's an American citizen, okay? Crystal was born in China but she moved to America, got citizenship, and then later moved back to China to make a career as an international actress. During the height of the Hong Kong protests last year, you'll remember those protests where the police were gang raping female protesters, Christo posted an image on the Chinese Twitter Weibo in support of Hong Kong police. She enjoys the freedom of America, the very freedom that these Hong Kongers are protesting for, but simultaneously supports the suppression of that freedom. She enjoys the safety guaranteed by a transparent legal system, but rejects Hong Kongers desire to maintain that same system. She's what's known in China as one of the Si Dan, one of the four Don actresses, which means are the four actresses in China that will guarantee your movie makes money. Outside of China, She's known as a hypocritical piece of shit, a tool in China's global suppression of free speech. The citizens of South Korea and Thailand have woken up to this fact, and they're pushing to boycott the new Mulan film. And as Americans, as citizens of this country, it is our duty and responsibility to stand with our brothers in Asia and around the world, to stick your middle fingers high in the air, to say, fuck Crystal, fuck Mulan, and fuck Disney. I'm Lila Farley. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Snowing in my backyard, dicing with my cash car. Fiddy engine gas star, grooming and we wrap it up like NASCAR. Racing high dishes, insanely high bitches with delicious scotch mixes at a poolside snack bar. Fruit and Buddha moving as the speaker plays straight in.